Man's journey on Earth has been long and full of memories. If we could go back in time to understand our origins, there's a lot we can learn about who we are and where we come from. The possibilities that we may not be indigenous to Earth are limitless. Until recently, the thought that humans might not have originated from our dear Mother Earth was insane and given little attention. However, that has changed today, with many becoming more convinced that ancient humans came from other places in outer space. It is possible that the human family tree is significantly more complicated than previously assumed. Evidence to back up some long-lost human relatives has been found thanks to a recent investigation. That proof is concealed in some living individual's DNA. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you to Episode 7 of The Greatest Mystery of Our Time, the dawning theory that humans may not have come from Earth. Like I promised in the previous episode, I will take you to a place in the world where scientists made a shocking discovery that is unique for several reasons. Before sharing this mind-blowing discovery, please just subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification button for more upcoming content on this channel. Don't forget to like the video, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and share the video with your loved ones. For those watching the series for the first time, I've been discussing the possibility that humans may not have come from Earth. In part six of the series, I shared the discovery by a group of geneticists showing that West Africans carry the DNA of unknown human ancestors, dubbed the ghost DNA. In this part, we'll be going to the Pacific Islands, where the people carry the DNA of ancient, unknown humans. No doubt the native peoples of the Pacific Islands share a unique genetic heritage. According to genetic research, their ancestors mated with the Neanderthals and Denisovans two subgroups of prehistoric humans. To establish this link, researchers compared DNA sequences obtained from the remains of these prehistoric human species with samples of islanders. However, more recent research into Melanesia's genetic mixing rate showed a significant amount of an extinct ancestry yet to be accounted for. Researchers believe this genetic data comes from a third unidentified human species that existed hundreds of thousands of years before the Denisovans. The intriguing genetic data hints at another branch of human ancestry. However, there are no known physical remains to compare it to unlike Neanderthals and Denisovans. This unidentified third group might give the story of human evolution a new turn. Leading the new study was Ryan Bolander, a statistical geneticist at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. He and his colleagues studied the DNA of Melanesians in Papua New Guinea and the neighboring islands in the South Pacific region. Their study shows that the people appear to have inherited genes from an unidentified extinct hominid. On October 20th, 2016, Bolander announced his team's findings to Canadian audiences at an annual American Society of Human Genetics meeting. The progenitors of the Melanesians interbred with two subgroups of extinct hominids, according to earlier studies. 
The Neanderthals represent one of the groups that left fossils in Asia and Europe. The second group, Denisovans, is identified by DNA recovered in a finger bone and a few teeth. Their fossils originated in a Siberian cave. Following the investigation, an ancient unknown DNA was discovered in the Melanesians. But neither Neanderthals nor Denisovans appear to be the source of it, leading the researchers to conclude that the unidentified DNA probably originates from a third hominid species. According to Bolander, no fossil evidence for this species has yet been discovered. Like Bolander and his team, other researchers have analyzed the DNA of modern humans and discovered evidence of unidentified species. Another group of scientists led by geneticists Arun Dervosula and Siriam Sankaraman of the University of California, Los Angeles, stated in 2012 that some Africans may have inherited DNA from an unknown extinct hominid. Unfortunately, no fossil remains like bones with that specific DNA have been found as of yet. You can learn more about Dervisola and Sankaruraman's findings in part 7 of the series. Subscribe to this channel immediately and follow the link in the description. You can also check out previous videos about the series by navigating through the channel. Human ancestors mixed with Neanderthals in Europe and Asia after leaving Africa. As a result, some Neanderthal DNA is still present in humans whose origins began outside of Africa. According to estimates by Bolander and his team, about 2.8% of Europeans and the Chinese have descent from Neanderthals. There is, however, no evidence of Denisovan heritage in Europe. While some Chinese do, Bolander's team estimates their number to be a teeny percentage of about 0.1%. However, Neanderthal DNA makes up 2.74% of the DNA of humans in Papua New Guinea. Bolander also calculates that roughly 1.1% of Melanesians have Denisovan DNA. That is far less than the 3 to 6% Denisovan DNA that other researchers have estimated to be present among Melanesians. However, Melanesians also have additional traces of ancient DNA. These fragments might be related to Neanderthals and Denisovans. If accurate, there would be a third extinct hominid species that have interbred with early humans. Bolander states that human history is a lot more complicated than we thought it was. Similar findings were also reached by another team led by Esk Willersey, an expert in evolutionary genetics at Copenhagen's Natural History Museum of Denmark. Willersey's team investigated the DNA of 83 Australian Aboriginals. Additionally, they examined the DNA of 25 members of Papua New Guinea's indigenous communities. Denisovan-like DNA was detected in the study participants. However, there were some differences between that DNA and the Denisovans, which might be from a different extinct hominid. The researchers published their findings in 2016 in the October 13th issue of Nature. Willersey acknowledges not knowing who this group of ancient humans are. In the South Pacific, fossils from other extinct human ancestors have been discovered. DNA has not yet been extracted from those bones by scientists. One of the unidentified groups of hominids probably contributed to the non-Denisovan DNA that Willersey's team discovered. If DNA from those ancient bones can be obtained, researchers will attempt to compare it to DNA found in living individuals.
It is difficult to say whether this third group interbred with the South Pacific Islander's forebears. One explanation is that DNA varies from person to person within any population. This genetic diversity is relatively high in some tribes. According to Matthias Jacobson, who researches evolutionary genetics at Sweden's Uppsala University, little is known about Denisovans among researchers. He believes, however, that it is possible that Denisovans established remote settlements. It is also possible that they were kept apart from one another for a very long time. If accurate, the tribes might have acquired various genetic variations. Scientists might have been duped into believing the groups were different species if there were enough of these DNA differences. Jacobson admits that he would not be shocked if other extinct hominid populations crossbred with humans. He points out that modern and ancient humans have met many times and had many children together. Maybe someday we will discover who these ancient ancestors, whose DNA still resides in humans today, are. However, the presence of unknown or ghost DNA in modern humans can lead us to come up with many questions. Could there be connections between the people who pass them down to modern humans and the ancient visitors whose stories are told in myths and legends? Also, are pseudoscientists whose theories postulate that long ago visitors on Earth created the human species through laboratory design or by mating with hominids right after all? Could the unknown and ghost DNAs be a trace of their DNA still residing in some humans today? As time goes by, some of these questions may be answered. However, until then, we can only keep the quest to discover our origins alive. Here we come to the end of the series, The Greatest Mystery of Our Time, the dawning theory that humans may not have come from Earth. Before we go, I'd like to know what you think about the unknown DNA in Melissinians. Do you think it belongs to some alien people who helped to advance the human species? You can interact with me by dropping your opinions in the comment section. And let's get sharing some thoughts together. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content and turn on your notification for upcoming videos. Also, like, comment, and share my videos with your family, friends, and colleagues.